What is up gamers, I'm Mako, and I quickly wanted to show you guys what you should be doing before you hit Trailblazer level 50, and what to do to prepare for hitting Trailblazer level 50, because once you hit 50, your equilibrium level will go up from 3 to 4. The biggest thing you should be doing, which you can start at around 47, but you should definitely start at 48 and 49, is you want to start doing your stagnant shadows. Stagnant shadows only go up from 3 drops to 4 drops, so basically this material right here, the main boss material that the enemy drops, will go from 3 to 4. It scales off your equilibrium level, of like with a 1 to 1, so whatever your equilibrium level is, is the amount of drops you're going to get from that. There's no variation in it. It is a guaranteed that number of drops. So because it's only an increase of one, it's actually most efficient to be doing these to prepare for hitting level 50. And you also want to do them because once you do hit level 50 is you'll be able to actually ascend your characters instantly. So that's the biggest thing you want to do. Make sure you get enough stagnant shadow materials uh, before you hit level 50 to level up the characters that you want to level up, mainly your main four or maybe a few others too. So that's the biggest thing you want to do before you hit level 50 is you want to do the stagnant shadows just because the increase is different. Let me show you the increase for something like the Crimson Calyx. Here's the Crimson Calyx right here. So at Equilibrium level 3, I only have level 4 of the Calyx unlocked, which has these drops. But once we hit Equilibrium level 4 and we unlock level 5 of the Calyx, you can see that we have the level 4 drops of the material unlocked, which is really good. As you can see, the difference between these is pretty big. So it's better to hold off on doing those and focus on doing your stagnant shadows and then after you can do your crimson calyxes. Now the same thing goes for your caverns of corrosion which are your relic drops. Your relics at level 3, equal level level 3, you can see I am right now, you have a guaranteed chance to get your 5 star but once you get to level 4, as you can see, the loot table doesn't look that much different, right? It's the same thing. But at Equilobium level 4, you unlock level 4 of the Caverns of Corrosion. And what you'll be able to do is you'll get your guaranteed 5 star. But you also have around a third-ish chance of getting another 5 star. So you have a chance to get 2 drops instead of 1. Over at Equilobium level 3, you are guaranteed your 1 5 star. But you can't get any more than that. It is a pretty nice increase to get a chance to double your 5 star drops from 3 to 4. And that is definitely better. And why you should be holding off on doing them and you should be doing your stagnant shadows. Of course, who isn't going to do a little uh, relic farming, right? Of course, everyone does some relic farming. But I will say, around level 48 and 49, you do want to start doing your stagnant shadows, just so you can get these materials ready for the characters you want to level up and ascend the second you hit 50. I haven't hit level 50 yet, but I've seen from other people experience what happens. And what I'm going to tell you is going to happen is that unless you have only leveled up like four characters, you're going to be very low on these books, meaning you're going to need to farm these books. And it's more efficient to farm these books at level 50 than it is at level 40. So at equilibrium level three, you can do level four of the golden calyx, which will give you these drops right here. And as you can see, here's that. So once we hit equilibrium level four, we'll unlock level five of the golden calyx. And you can see uh, you no longer are able to get the tier one materials over here. But it's okay, because now you get more of these over here. So it's actually better to farm these once you hit level 4 of the Equilibrium, instead of doing them at level 3. And it is also more efficient to do that when compared to your Stagnant Shadows, where you only have an increase of 1. So to recap, it is most efficient to do your Stagnant Shadow materials before you hit Trailblazer level 50, and you get Equilibrium level 4, because it is more efficient to farm these other things once you hit Trailblazer level 4 than it is to do your Stagnant Shadow, right? So your Cavern of Corrosion, your Crimson Calyx, your Golden Calyx, and your Echoes of War even. If you want to hold off your Echoes of War, as you can see, I haven't done my Echoes of War yet because I'm about to hit Trailblazer level 50 in the coming days. So I'm going to save them for when I do hit level 50 so I will have the Equilibrium level 4 drops. A little bonus tip, although it may be obvious, is that you should save your Immersifiers as many as you can for when you hit Trailblazer level 50 and upgrade to Equilibrium level 4 so that you get better drops from the simulated universe drops. With that being said, I hope you enjoyed and learned something from this video. Have a good day or night. See ya!